was a good match. Both teams came with an intention to try and fight for the result. I think our first half was offensively very good. We, we created far too many chances not to score even one goal first half. Uh, but defensively had too many, too many irritating moments because we, we identified what Supersport does. We profiled it very, very well that every time they break out, they will always look to go to the white channel and immediately without any hesitation, they are going to put the ball in the box. And uh, both goals that we considered were an outcome of something that we, we identified, we, we, we trained to, to deal with, but still got caught in those moments. And both moments being a little bit lethargic in terms of our aggression uh, to try and kill the cross and not to allow the cross. The second one, uh, in as much as initially I thought uh, Tapelo should have just gone to the ball before it bounces, I thought he took it for granted that it will bounce and go out. But uh, after reviewing it, I, I also saw that there was also a nudge from Ikram, which uh, may put, set him off balance, and that is why he got an opportunity to be able to put the ball in the box. But had he just cleared the ball before he bounces, maybe we, could, uh, we would not be talking the story. And the worst part is to concede in those, in those critical moments of the game. Uh, for us, that is, that is criminal, because uh, had we come out uh, of the first half with one nil, it could have been a different story. Second half, I think today we were a little bit v wasteful, to be honest. Uh, not to take the chances that we got. Because if you look at all the stats and all the, 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 the KPIs of the match, po from possession to shots at goals, shots on target, uh, duels won and all that, you, you realize that a lot was positive for us. And it's a game that statistically you would say it's a match that you should have won, but we did not do well enough to be able to, to take our chances. There were areas that we were unhappy about that we had to try and resolve, uh, how we considered the goals we considered, uh, and also the fact that we did not take our chances. And we did not really keep the structure that we, we wanted to keep, more especially in the half spaces, to try and exploit the outside of Tlapo and Bata. But uh, we also knew very well that it's a game that needed a little bit more in terms of aggression and a fight. And in terms of the title defense, uh, I don't think there is there's, there's, there's so much that has happened that should suggest that we, we are off the rails or the title is going to be very, very difficult. It is always difficult to, to play super sport. It is always difficult to, to fight for the championship in South Africa. It looks like it's easy at the end, but it's never easy. And uh, who, who says we are entitled to win a game against super sport? who says we're entitled to win a game against uh, T.S. Galax or Sikukuni. Uh, it's the same super sport that is still also going to beat some of, this, uh, of, of the teams that we are competing with. So that's the interesting part of this marathon. If you just keep uh, your eye on the prize and you, you take care of the process, you, you are not far away. In terms of our first cycle, we fell off in terms of the number of points, but we still got 10 points in five matches. Uh, we still have 12 points to fight for in this cycle. So for me, it's, it's not, it's not uh, a trains match, but it's, a, it's warning signs. And it's very good when these warning signs come early in the season so that you are not complacent, you, you keep your feet on the ground, you stay humble, and understand that you are not entitled to get the result. And for, for us, we understand that. And probably it's good that is happening so early in the season that we must be a little bit more focused because we, we will get punished if we are not away. But otherwise, uh, I don't think it's, it's already a stage for people to start panicking. I think it is, it is too early for that. And we, on average, we, we have done well in terms of the number of, of points that we have collected compared to the rest. And uh, we are in the position that we are in because we, we have done fairly well. We have not done the best that we can do, but we, we believe we can do better. But the good thing is that all these signs must come early so that we stay humble and we respect and we, we don't dwell too much on the previous result because there was that element in, in the first half of uh, putting our foot off the pedal sometimes which we could have 
continuously kept the stove hot and make it difficult for Supersport because we created a lot of chances, to be honest. And they were dog tired towards the end, but we scored a little bit too late again to, to be able to salvage something out of this game. It's not going to be a rotation, but I would not say there's anyone who is number one at, at Sundowns. Uh, we've got four top goalkeepers that uh, can come in and, and play at any given time. It was always important for us to, to induct him very quickly and integrate him into the group, which uh, I, d I believe he has done fairly well. But uh, the competition is still wide open. You don't know how this season is going to finish, and you don't know who is, what's going to be happening in the Champions League. Uh, when he's still playing, he must also do the best he can to make sure that he stays there because in our team, we've got too many matches and uh, everybody else is expected to give us something. And when we look at what is happening in training, I can tell you that Dennis is looking very good. I can tell you that Riyadh is looking very good. Kennedy is looking very good. So, And Ronwin has done very well, to be honest. So the competition is wide open. And uh, we would not really want to dwell into who is number one or number two because we brought him in to come and assist uh, in, in that space, and he has done fairly well so far. I think uh, Nasir played very well. I think he, he created a lot of very good moments, even first half. Unfortunately, not to score. Got himself into very dangerous positions. Uh, he's still going to help us a lot. Uh, for Marcelo, it was important for him to start the match so that he also knows uh, the speed of our game in South Africa, because sometimes when you come in as a substitute, uh, it's easy for people to to already put you in, a, in the podium. And uh, when you start the game and the intensity of the South African match, uh, it's, it's, it's the integration that he needed. He did not perform bad. He had very good moments first half, but he was a little bit off pace in terms of uh, the speed of the game first half. But uh, his performance is good enough to, to suggest that he's going to be very important for us. But it was always going to be important for us to give him a start because it would always leave a false impression when he always comes in late in the game when the opposition is tired and he will start to believe that uh, the opposition in South Africa is, is at that level in terms of intensity. But now I'm sure he's thinking about this thing differently and he will start uh, maybe checking his speed of the game because the, the difference between South African football and many other leagues, uh, our football, because we lose the ball too many times. Uh, we, are, we don't take care of the ball. So it's a game that has got too many transitions. And most, in most leagues, they are not used to this uh, because in most leagues, they take care of the ball because the speed of their game is a little bit slower and it gives time uh, and space to the player in position. But in South Africa, it's a transitional game. It, it's very difficult to even watch it and enjoy it if you are watching it on TV because sometimes you don't even see where the ball is because the ball is moving very fast than, than what should be happening. Uh, and it's something that we must really try to improve as a country. But the truth of the matter is we, we believe he's still going to help us. And it was good that he got uh, into himself into that space for in a game that is very demanding, a derby. Then we, we believe it will help him to, be, to become a better player going forward.